uh, I like to think that I can kind of predict big, big things that are happening. And, and a year ago, I started seeing how much passion there is among you for e-commerce. And I said, hey, this is going to be big. And this is incredible. You know, more than 1,000 people here, and this is just one city. Eric, how many thousands, he said, are using the enablers uh, offices to learn about Amazon? 26,000 people, I think. Yeah. He said, this is really, really incredible. So a big hand to, to all of you guys for taking the So today I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, strategy. You know, when I first, when they first announced this event, I saw some people say, well, "Why should I come? You know, what, what benefit is there for me? What can I learn from from Bradley?" So I wanted to bring some advanced strategy and also some basic strategy for everybody. But just so I can have an idea of how many are all selling on Amazon, how many are working for other companies. Let me just see, first of all, my first question, how many here are not working for an Amazon company, they're not selling on Amazon, This Amazon is maybe new to you, you're just interested. How many people here are like that? Okay, maybe 25%, okay, good. Now, how many are working for other Amazon companies, maybe as virtual assistant or an employee, but you're actively now working for a, an Amazon company. Okay, good, good. Um, how many are yourself? You have your own Amazon account and you are selling uh, on Amazon. Okay, good, good, good. This is, this is helpful to me. So today, I'm going to go over some different strategies and anybody here, even if you have not sold on Amazon, if you're going to sell on Amazon, or you're going to work for a company one day, please try and take notes, or record, or remember this, because this is very important, and this is very valuable information. Uh, some of it, I like, like uh, Saki said, I have never given before. The, uh, the only other place I have given some of this information also is in a small conference in the USA with maybe only 30 or 40 people, every one of those 40 people is making one to uh, 50 million dollars a year on Amazon. That is the level of this information. So you are getting the same information that I was giving to the millionaires, the top of Amazon. So let me go ahead and let's see if this works. Okay, so first of all, who, who, who am I? You know, maybe some people know me, some people, this is your first time seeing me. So, um, I, this is interesting for you. I actually started, yes. Now, four microphones, oh my goodness. Can you guys understand me so far? It's okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, no problem. All right. Okay. So, something interesting. Before I worked at Helium 10, I actually was not an Amazon seller. I was a consultant, which is basically like many of you who raise your hand, like a virtual assistant. That was me. I was in the same shoes as you. And before I worked at Helium 10, I launched over 400 products for other Amazon sellers. Not for myself. I didn't launch products for myself before Helium 10. It was all for other people, just like many of you are doing. Um, I listen, or I, I listen. <laughs> I run the most listened to podcast in the world for Amazon. Every month we have more than 80,000 people listening, the Serious Sellers Podcast. I have over 20 years of e-commerce experience. When I was 18 years old, or 19 years old, I'm sorry, I was running an online company for car parts doing more than $1 million a year. That was 23 years ago. Um, I have training videos that have been viewed millions of times. I know many of you, how many people have seen some of my training videos, either from Helium to, okay, a lot of you have seen my training videos. Um, and now I actually do sell on Amazon also myself. It's very important, just like Sakeki 
currently sells on Amazon, it's very difficult to teach Amazon if you are not selling on Amazon. So that's why I started selling myself and I only have maybe uh, five to 10 hours a week to work on Amazon because Helium 10 is my main job. But in those five to 10 hours a week, my products are selling more than $1 million per year. So there is a lot of potential on, on Amazon. Thank you. All right, so what are we going to go over today? I'm going to go over what's called the, we call the Maldives Honeymoon Launch Strategy. This is a made up name by me. I kind of wanted an excuse to go to the Maldives. Uh, so I made a strategy called Maldives Strategy and I, I flew to Maldives to record it. Next, I'm going to make the Bora Bora strategy or the Hawaii strategy so I can go to those uh, places as well. But today is Maldives Honeymoon Strategy. This is about how to launch a product on Amazon. And like I said, if you're selling on Amazon now, if you are working for a company that sells on Amazon, or if you're interested to sell on Amazon, eventually you need to know how to launch a product in an economical way on Amazon I'm going to give you the number one best way that maybe 97% of Amazon sellers, they don't know about. I'm going to talk about some Helium 10 advanced strategies. A lot of you, how many people have used Helium 10 here in the audience? Whoa, look at that, I love that, I love that. So maybe 95% of you who raise your hand, you probably don't know about these strategies. I'm gonna talk about some tips for all of you in the Enablers family. We're gonna talk about a new way coming for you here who are part of the Enablers program to make money, all right? A different way to make money that uh, Sakib and I are working on. And I have some uh, another announcement that you are gonna be the first in the world to hear. Um, soon everybody will know about it with Helium 10, but nobody knows. And especially uh, today in Lahore, you're the first one. So, you know, tomorrow I can't say nobody knows about it because you guys are, will all know about it. All right, so the Maldives Honeymoon Amazon Launch Strategy. So why did I call it the Maldives Honeymoon? I was just joking. It wasn't just because I wanted to visit the beautiful, uh, the beautiful island. But how many people have heard on Amazon something called Honeymoon Period? Okay, Honeymoon Period, all right. So what does the honeymoon period mean? When a product is launched on Amazon, there's maybe one month or two months or three months where Amazon gives a lot of added bonus to this product. Not money, but it puts it to the top of the page or it gives more PPC, that's Amazon advertising. Many different things that older listings don't have Amazon gives a benefit to a new listing. That's why we call it the honeymoon. Uh, in, in, in Pakistan, when you get married, is there a honeymoon? Like, do you grow, is that a tradition or is that only Western world? Sometimes you guys know what a honeymoon is, right? Yes. More microphone problems. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't buy these microphones from Amazon. I know. No problem, no problem. Thank you. I thought he was going to say, no, you can't say honeymoon in Pakistan, that's a bad word. I don't know. Good, that's better. All right, so, honeymoon, you know, when you first get married, everything is nice and everything is great, but then, you know, maybe 20 years later, you or your wife or husband, uh, you know, kind of. Some, sometimes some people uh, not know about that, right? But on Amazon, it's similar, you know? When you first have a brand new product, everything is nice and great, and Amazon gives you a lot of bonus, you know, maybe a few years later, you know, that. So it's very important though, because you can only have one honeymoon, right? So it's very important. So Amazon sellers made up this name, honeymoon. But I always experiment. I love testing case studies and testing different strategies. And all of a sudden, on these products I was launching, I noticed that I was having even better effect than the honeymoon period. Incredible results, where I was getting 10 times the benefit of the normal honeymoon. So what I did was I did a Google. I, I said, what is the most expensive honeymoon 
uh, location. And so here's Google, it says, most expensive honeymoon, number one Maldives. So that's why I named this the Maldives honeymoon strategy, okay? So, I told you before, I work for Helium 10. My, my specialty was launching products for other sellers. Here is one of the examples from 2018. So this is three years ago, more than three years ago, before, before I worked at Helium 10. I posted something in a group, Facebook group. I ran a promotion uh, for one product, for one keyword, natural body wash. This keyword had about 5,000 monthly searches. What does that mean? That means that every month on Amazon, 5,000 people at this time were typing in natural body wash, all right? And I wanted to get to page one, all right? Page one is so important for Amazon. Um, whatever website you use, what, what is the website that people use in Pakistan to buy things? Okay, so if you type in a search on that website, you know, do you go to page four and five and six to find the product? No, usually as you want the result to come up on the first page. And it's the same thing on Amazon. They say they have this joke in Amazon sellers. They say, where is the best place to hide a dead body? It's page two of Amazon because nobody will check in page two. All right, so page one is so important. We have to get on page one, all right? The way that you do that is some people have different strategies. Advertising, PPC, Facebook. Before, I would do a strategy called giveaways. Giveaways means that I try to get a lot of people to buy the product in eight days after searching for a keyword. In those days, we used URLs, two-step URLs. This, if you guys don't understand that, don't worry. This is the old strategy, all right? So here, what I said here is, I did this for five days, and I gave out 157 units. 157 products. This was a, a body wash. So this company I was working for, this body wash cost $20. And I had to give out, that means I had to pay people to buy this 157. Can you imagine how much money that costs? That's a, that's a lot of money to just, you're not getting, that's just not no profit, that's minus profit. You're paying people the full price to buy the product. But in these days, three years ago, and even recently, this is the only way to get to page one. If you want to compete, you have to use this method before, right? So this cost thousands of dollars and it worked. It says here, my ranking went from 74 to page one, position 10. And you can see here this rank, it starts 74, way down here, and I got to page one. So this was what we considered success three years ago. But not many companies can afford this. That's just one keyword. Imagine they wanted to get on page one for another keyword or another keyword. How much more money? So before I was like, I need to find a better way. This is costing too much money. Most people can't afford to just give out their product for free. All right, they're losing too much money. So here are some examples of this new strategy that I created, again, called the Maldives strategy. So remember that keyword was 5,000 search volume and I needed to give out 160. Now here is one I did this year. This is 20,000 searches, so a lot of searches. And according to the old number, if I would do it the old way, how many do I have to give out? 330. How many did I give out? Four. That's a big difference, right? Did it work four instead of 330? Here it is. I started way down, position 100, and here, page one, position five or six. Only four units I gave out. Isn't it better to give out four than 300? Yeah. Nope. Another one, 7,000 search volume. 
Normally, I would have to give 120 products for free. This one, only 15. And look at the results. I started on page six, Amazing. position 250. Within three days, I am at the top of page one, only 15. This is saving thousands and thousands of dollars for these companies. Another one, 8,000 search volume. Instead of 160, by the way, CPR number is the old way that we measure how many units do we have to give away. So it was telling me 160, how many did I do? 10, only 10. And look how successful, within two days, top of page one. Here's another, this is interesting. This is where really, things really get interesting. This strategy I use is so powerful. Look at this, 11,000 searches. The number before to give away, I would have to give away 368. But because of some other things I was doing, how many did I give away? Zero. Surely that can't work. That can't work, right? Nope. Started off and now page one, top 10 with zero. We're going to talk about exactly how I did that. Here's another example of zero and successful to get to page one. And here's another one. This is just more recently in May went from page three all the way to page one. These are real examples. These are real products that I am launching. All right, so step one. Now we're gonna talk about how. That's the results. Now let's talk about how I was able to achieve these results. Step one is product research. So, you know, I know you sometimes you call it product hunting, right? How can you already prepare for an Amazon launch even before you have the product, all right? This is the number one important thing here. Find products where the main keywords do not have many results with that keyword in the title. Don't worry, I know that sounds strange. I'm gonna explain exactly what this means, all right? Let me give you an example. This is a search on Amazon, collagen peptides is the phrase. If you check on page one, how many listings have collagen peptides in it? It's a lot, almost 50%. See, collagen peptides, collagen peptides, collagen peptides. So to me, this means this is a difficult keyword to launch for. There's too much competition, all right? Here's another example. This is kind of a strange keyword. Gothic desk organizer. If you search for that keyword on Amazon, in page one, only one listing, this one here is sponsored, this is uh, paid advertising. There's only one on the whole page that has that keyword in the title. And this is something that, uh, like I said, more than 95% of Amazon sellers don't realize is the, if you have the keyword in the title and nobody else has it, it is so easy to rank, all right? So why do we know? It's not just because Bradley says title is important. Why do we know that an Amazon listing title is so important? I did an experiment. I told you I love to do experiments, all right? So one night, this says 3 a.m. Usually I'm not awake at 3 a.m. This is really was 12, 12 a.m. Okay, the, the time was a little off. So at 12 a.m. I created a test listing. It's a real product, a, a real listing on Amazon, all right? It is so new, it was so new, the image didn't even show up yet. I mean, I took this screenshot exactly when I created the listing. And I put this keyword here. This is a strange keyword, geese chicken coop. That's actually a brand name. Now, I, I put that keyword because I knew probably almost nobody has this keyword in the title, all right? Now, remember, the old days, how do you get to page one? Oh, I've gotta give out 50, 100, 200 products, and then maybe after eight days, I can get a page one, right? This is 12.05 a.m. Now, look here, I put this down here, 12.17 a.m. This is 12 minutes after I created the listing. Still, it's so new 
There's no image. There's not even an image yet because it's so new. Amazon didn't process it. Searching geese chicken coop, page one, position two. No giveaways, no Facebook ads, no PPC, no anything. But because nobody had that keyword in the title, actually only one person did, which is this one here, and that's our product. This is our product from Project X. So since only one other product had it in the title, immediately we're on the first page. So this was like a proof that I didn't just make this idea up. The title is so, so important when you are creating Amazon listings. Those of you who work for other Amazon companies, how many of you, you are responsible for creating Amazon listings or you have created Amazon listings, all right? Maybe about 50 or so, or so of you. Eventually, everybody here, if you go through with your e-commerce journey, you're going to create Amazon listings. So this is very important to remember how important the title is. One other strategy, listing creation delay. So one of the beauties about Amazon is you could be in California, you could be in Lahore, you could be in the Maldives, and you can run a business on Amazon. Why? Well, it's because you use the Amazon shipping, Amazon warehouse, and they ship everything. You don't only have to ship the product to Amazon from Pakistan or from Maldives or from wherever. You send it directly from your factory to Amazon warehouse and they ship and deliver. Now, because of this, there is a sticker you have to put on Amazon products. It's called FN SKU. It's like a barcode. If you don't put this barcode on the product, Amazon will charge you 30 cents every one. So what does everybody do? What everybody does is they create the listing first and then they get that barcode and send it to the factory in Pakistan, send it to the factory in China, send it to another country so that the factory can print that label, right? But here's the thing, since they're creating the listing, that kind of starts that honeymoon period. So now maybe three or four months later, finally the product arrives in America, guess what? The honeymoon is over. So you're not gonna get the benefit. So there's two things that you can do to avoid this. Option one is don't create the listing. All right, don't create the listing before. If you're using a warehouse in America or in Germany or in UK, wherever you're selling, don't create the listing. Just make the product and send it to the, to the warehouse and when it arrives in USA, UK, Germany, wherever, then you create the listing and put the sticker on. That means that from day one, as soon as you create the listing, you put it for sale and you're getting sales. So all of a sudden, to Amazon, they're like, wow, look at this product. They just created this product. And in 24 hours, there's sales. Oh, this must be an incredible product. And that's why you get Maldives honeymoon, because now Amazon sends more and more traffic to it. Now, what if you don't have a warehouse? You have no way to put the sticker on. Um, actually, I have a warehouse at my house, and I have my children, since they were five years old, put, putting the stickers uh, uh, on it. So that's me. It's easy for me, because my warehouse is my house and I have my children put the stickers on. But maybe you don't have a warehouse in the United States. You can still make the listing before. Um, let me put this here. But you put the launch date in the future. So there is something when you create the listing, it says launch date. It's very small, you have to find this. Again, most sellers 